I mean, with that, I think it just makes sense that I need to recognize them a little bit, don't you think? Okay, so this is going to take a little bit, but like I said, this is certainly worth it. I'm going to call each of the teams up in alphabetical order, so no particular order other than alphabet. So, the first team that we're going to recognize in alphabetical order is Cottage Grove High School. Team members, Micaiah Davis, Derek Howe, Mariki, Marika, sorry, Marika Mersh, and Jessica Perkins. Schumacher, Yuning Wen. Okay, next recognize Crow High School. Carson and Tyler Wood. Crow High School. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, Junction City High School was here and competed today, but they had to go back uh, for some reasons. So I want to at least recognize them verbally, their team, coaches, and members. Uh, their chef coach was Val Morris, uh, market of choice. Advisor Tony Cowdery and team members were Haley Bishop, Ashley Hansen, Danielle Hansen, and Kelsey McKern. So, okay. Now I know there was La Petite, but I'm gonna say the whole thing. This is the Northwest Youth Corps La Petite Culinary Arts Program. So if they can start heading up. Uh, chef coach was Carly Rogers. Advisor Dina Stewart. And team members are Garrett Collum. Dylan Crisanti, Jeannie Moran, and Adriel Nebler. Sergio Mora Mora and Melissa, is it Sewell? Sewell? <laughs> Melissa Sewell. <laughs> so next we're going to recognize Pleasant Hill High School. So Pleasant Hill High School chef coach, Bob Schroeder, advisor, Pat LeBrun, and team members, Brianna Huey, Megan Persher, Lorena Pickney and Blake Tendick. Pleasant Hill High School. Nice. Looking Glass Riverfront School. Chef Coach Tracy McGee and Arthur Joyce. Advisor Anita Sullivan. Team members Brandon Bartram, Sarah Denton, Andrew Lemons, and Misty West. Looking Glass Riverfront. Caitlin Blankenship, Nick Carver, Khalil Niemeyer, and Ellen Wolf. Recognize Springfield High School. Chef Coach Dave White, Kathy Zeman, Advisor Mark Maxwell, team members Chloe Gast, 
Elizabeth Kistner, Lindsay Lang Lo, Lang sorry, and Katarine Romero. My team members, Josh Hammer, Libby Morgan, Jarrett Randall, and Giovanni Sarazua. So the next, the awards I'm going to announce in order of the program, so if you want to follow along, you know what's next. The first award that will be presented this time, tonight, is the Best Teamwork Award. So this is what happens back in the kitchen. And if you haven't been back there, you didn't get a chance to really look. And I know that upstairs, it doesn't give a good picture. But these are pretty tight quarters. And they're given a really small amount of space to work in. And these four students, or three students on the team, have to learn to work around each other, to communicate. There's knives flying. There's food all over the place. They have to do this in a very organized manner. They have to communicate. So um, just the four rating or five categories that are rated in is appropriate cooking methods. So are they preparing it, the food, and doing those things right? Cooking methods done in a time-efficient manner. Are they overcooking? Are they undercooking? Those kind of things. They're looking at all this stuff. Proper amount of produce for the recipe. Are the portions too big or too small? Um, work evenly dis distributed. So is there one person doing all the work, or does everybody have a job and they do it well and, and do it as a team? And their professionalism. How do they look? How are they dressed? How do they speak to each other? You know, do they get panic stricken or do they stay calm and help each other and do those kind of things? So that's what the criteria is. And we put all those scores together and we came up with the top person in this category. And if I can find the right sheet. And really I'm looking for it, I'm not just trying to be suspenseful. Okay, so this year's award winner for best teamwork for the 2006 high school culinary competition goes to two teams. We had a tie. So two teams showed outstanding teamwork in this. And these two teams are South Eugene High School yeah! and Pleasant Hill High School. South Eugene High School. Yeah! That's a biggie. 
Are your fingernails dirty or are they full? I mean, I'm not, you don't have to look. <laughs> they have to make sure their fingernails are clean. Uh, proper knife safety. So once again, they're even looking at their safety skills and knives. Proper use and handling of food contact surfaces, making sure they're not cross-contaminating. Uh, proper use of gloves, proper temperature. Are they cooking it to the right temperature or they send something undercooked? Oh, cross-contamination, which I just said. And clean work area, because not only are they rated on how they do everything, it's do they start out in a clean environment and do they leave a perfectly clean environment too? That's a category that they're rated on. So that's a lot to be looking at. We all know, especially not me because I'm not in the business, but those in the business know that's very important. So with that, the 2008 award in the Lane County High School Culinary Competition for Best Safety and Sanitation goes to Pleasant Hill High School. <laughs> consideration what did the food look like obviously was the menu how did it look on and you, when you look out on there if you look out in the hallway on your way out that's what they were judged on how does the menu look um, did they use the right ingredients was the color right were the proportions right basically just how does it look that's not it just so you know um, so those all taken in mind uh, the best appearance for the 2008 Lane County High School culinary competition the award goes to North Eugene High School. Yeah! chocolate dessert. We know that to start with. And this is the best proportion, best texture, best color. All those things went into this. And the winner for best dessert in the 2008 Lane County High School Culinary Competition goes to North Eugene High School. So best entree for the 2008 Lane County High School Culinary Competition goes to Looking Glass Riverfront. <laughs> So these are the folks that have, have taken the time and have the skill to put together the whole package. So um, with that, no further ado, um, I'll announce the third place winner. And when I announce it, you can come up and we have a, a medallion for you and a certificate for you, uh, signifying that you placed third place in this year's competition. So the third place overall winner for the 2008 Lane County High School Culinary Competition is presented to Looking Glass River from school.
combination of all of those things put together. And for the second place, not only does this team get a medallion, but they get uh, the teacher and the coach each get a $25 gift certificate to Pepperberries, and each student gets a $10 gift certificate to Pepperberries as well, plus a certificate, plus recognition. So thank you to Pepperberries for sponsoring that prize. <laughs> Okay, so overall, second place in the Lane County High School Culinary Competition 2008 is awarded to Cottage Grove High School.